everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a overturned candy bucket that is pouring its contents all over the nail. This nail is ridiculously neon against a black background, so it all just looks extra hyper bright. I hope you love it as much as I do, and don't forget to check out Helen's candy bucket. Hers is a little bit different. It's just like a candy bake that's sitting on the nail. So I hope you like it as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future Halloween designs as well. To start this design, I'm going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic. If you wanted to do it with black acrylic, that would certainly be an option. I personally prefer to paint a nail when it's going to be black because I think the color just looks a little bit more intense than black acrylic. And I feel like it doesn't get my brush all cloggy and gross because those really intense pigments in black acrylic just seem to get sucked right up into the bristles. But then I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure that it is nice and smooth and then paint it with a layer of black gel polish. For me, I feel like one layer is enough, but if you want to do two, that's your choice. And then a layer of gel sealer. And now we're going to gel, drill a hole right through the center of the nail. So with your skinniest bit, create a hole right in the middle. And then on the top of an eyedropper, we're going to paint it with some clear builder gel, one or two coats, depending on what's needed. After that's cured, cleanse it, and you can pop that right off the eyedropper, and you can use that as your base for your candy bucket. So now we're going to start sculpting our little candy bucket with bright, bright orange acrylic. Use the most intense neon color you have available for this. You want this design to be bright and cheery and neon and eye-catching and all of those wonderful adjectives that you could come up with. So just add a layer st to start. Just add a layer of that orange over the entire little bit of that dome that you made with the builder gel and keep adding layers until it's nice and round and smooth and even and you get a nice lip around the very top of it as you could see i kind of set the acrylic down and then i sort of pulled it towards the edge and when you're done with that we can paint the little pumpkin face on the candy bucket with black paint so to create that classic iconic candy bucket you don't want to do too you know like scary of a pumpkin face you want to keep it nice and simple shapes triangles and then a very classic looking mouth on your pumpkin one thing that I always thought was super hard was painting a pumpkin smile. And I don't know what it was, but it was one of those things that for a very long time, it was like, nope, I can't paint the pumpkin smile. Just I got to actually make a smile and then cut little triangles out of it. But it's really easy. You just have to make a zigzag essentially and then thicken up the line. And then you've got yourself a very quick, very easy pumpkin smile. To make this a little bit more dimensional and crazy, I'm going to be doing some yellow highlights on my smile. So outline one edge of each of the shapes and then go through with red and outline a second edge. So you have one edge that just stays that black line, but then you have some lines that are yellow and some that are orange and it gives it so much more dimension. Then cut off a piece of wire. This is jewelry wire and I'm going to glue it into the hole in the nail. And then after that starts to really grab and set up, I'm going to glue the other end of it to the inside of my candy bucket, just like so. And then once that holds, then you can secure it in there with some clear acrylic if you need to, or if you feel like it's necessary. Otherwise you go ahead and bend another piece of that jewelry wire really into a nice tight curve. I did that around a brush cover and then glue that into the candy bucket as the handle of it so that whoever's going trick-or-treating has something to hold on to. And then I'm going to sculpt all of my little candies. So to make some lollipops and have them have a handle, we're going to take more of that wonderful jewelry wire and with really neon purple, green, and orange. And it's the same orange for my candy bucket, which I actually thought was just fine. Sometimes I try to use multiple shades of a color so that it doesn't get confusing. But for this circumstance, I thought that was a-okay. Just sculpt a circle on the end of the wire for those lollipops. And then to create a couple different shapes of candies, you can make first just put down little beads of those circles of color and then sort of tuck them in so that they aren't quite so flat. Just pull in each side until you have a nice little circle. And then after you have all of those done like that you need to add the little triangular wrapper pieces on the edges and don't for any of these different candies use the same color for those little wrapper ends as you used for the middle so for me i have two of each color in the middle and then i'm going to use green for one purple and one orange and then you know etc so each one has a different color combination and you have no two that are the same and as you're sculpting these, just keep it in the back of your mind how many you might possibly need and know that you need to probably or potentially make more than what is actually necessary because it's always a better plan to have some extras that you might not use and instead of not having enough and having to make more after you are basically all done. So that's just something that I like to do is I like to always kind of err on the, you know, extra side then not enough. I'm gonna add those little triangular wrapper pieces on the ends of all of those. And then I also sculpted some pieces of candy 
that were more of a long bar shape versus the little round shape. So like a Tootsie Roll type of a thing, you know, the longer ones instead of just little circle discs. So then after you have all of those done, and just keep working on them and add those little bars, which is basically the same. But after you have them all done, keep them in a little dish or something next to you so that you can easily see what you have and you're not going to you know, lose something or well, just kind of keep them contained. So just pop them off the nail form backing and keep them separate. On your lollipops though, you are going to want to add a little swirly across the top of them just to give them a little bit more of that lollipop you know, classic look so that there's no confusion as to what they are. Apply some gel sealer over the lollipops and then you can use some jewelry gel to place all of these little candy pieces onto the nail. So I'm going to very generously apply that jewelry gel inside the candy bucket, down the wire, and then all over the nail. The other thing that I have seen that I don't personally have is, but I've seen little candy shaped glitter pieces and those would be amazing for this design. But after you have the jewelry gel on the nail itself, you're going to apply a layer of gel's top coat, matte gel top coat over the entire nail so that it's not doesn't have any of that jewelry gel exposed. And then you can begin placing all of your little candy pieces that you made. And I would start with the bigger ones, so those lollipops, and then kind of fill in with the smaller ones as you go down. So that way you don't end up not having space for a lollipop if you want to use it. After you have all of those candy pieces in that you want, you can also fill in with a little, you know, a couple of rhinestones here and there to add some extra sparkle and some extra glamour and try to keep within that color theme though of the purple, orange, and green, just because all of a sudden if there was one blue rhinestone in the mix, it would look very strange. So just, or if you were doing blue, then you could certainly do blue, but whatever your color theme is, just keep within that. Apply a layer of matte gel tap coat over your candy bucket and that is it. This nail is so neon and extreme and intense and just screams Halloween. I love it so much. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you next time. Bye!